Guys, this is a completely epic, 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 epic OU battle. Standard battle. I, we both use pretty much OU teams. but Okay, so I start out with my Gengar. He starts out with Gliscor trying to set up Stealth Rocks. And I go for the Shadow Ball, and he makes a nice prediction, switching out into Blissey. Which is just, I'm sorry, Blissey's the most annoying Pokemon in the entire game. But I know Focus Blast won't do much, so I just I go for it anyway, just to see what. I mean, you never know. So I switch out into a Metagross here. He goes back out into his Gliscor, and I'm just going to explode in his face right after he sets up a Stealth Rocks. Unfortunately, but because exploding in their face is just the cool thing to do, and that's obviously going to take down the Gliscor just because I wanted to get it out of the way. <coughs> I didn't feel like using Metagross this battle, so I decided to explode. I go into my Gliscor here, and I actually don't even look at its moves that it has because I actually have not even taught that Gliscor any moves at the point of this battle. It was a new Swords Dance and Night Slash. And that was it. And so that really screws me over kind of later, but uh, we'll, we'll get to that. So he goes into Bronze Long, <clears throat> another really annoying wall. I go for the Thunderbolt and do a little bit more than 25%, I think. And I go into Mince here to get the Intimidate off, and I'm lucky I got the Intimidate off because that Gyro Ball, Gyro Ball probably would have killed me if I hadn't have. And I go for the Heat Wave here, and I get it a uh, pretty, pretty nice damage. I was hoping for the KO, but you know, it's just not the way it goes. My Salamence has no special EVs, so I go back into Gengar to go for the Thunderbolt and take it out. And that Bronzong goes down, and that's good for me, because I don't like Bronzong. Anyway, he goes into this uh, Chansey, but it's actually a Blissey, because he's cool like that. And uh, goes for the Wish again. He's not having very good timing with these Wishes he's making, but that's okay. Uh, he sends out this Dusk Noir again, or this is the first time. Uh, I don't know. I go for the Swords Dance, uh, just because I know this Weevil is sashed, even though... I have already lost some HP, so I'm pretty stupid. I predict this actually really nicely here. I go for the Protect, predicting the explosion, but he goes for the Pain Split. So then I predict the explosion again and swap into Gengar, and I was right. So that's epic. I think that was one of the best predictions I've made in a while. You know, it's just really nice when you don't lose a Pokemon off an explosion. He goes into Ducky, which is his favorite Pokemon, Porygon 2. And I go for the Focus Blast and miss, and then the second time I go for it and it hits. So that's also good for me. And he mirror coats me, which I saw coming the first time because he uh, failed it because I missed. But that's okay, because Gengar did his job during this match, in my opinion. Go back into Weavile here, uh, looking to go for the Night Slash. Get the Stab, maybe the Crit. But who knows? And he misses a Zap Cannon, which isn't really that haxy because it's like a 50 for 50 chance of hitting. So I take out the Porygon Z. I don't know what kind of a difference that would have made in the long run. But, okay, now he goes back into this Dusk Dwarf, and I go for the Night Slash just because I want to get some really nice damage off on it. And I believe he goes for the Fire Punch. And, yes, he goes for the Fire Punch. So, Fire Punch takes out my Weevil. Which is okay. So I go into T-Tar here, looking to deal some hefty damage with a uh, Crunch. And I do just that. And that takes down the Dusknar. Now what's about to happen becomes what what I have to call the uh, most epic ending ever. The it has to be the most epic ending ever. Uh, because remember my, my Gliscor does not have any good moves on it. It has Swords Dance and Night Slash, and that's it. And uh, and I thought I had EQ on it at this point, so I'm like, oh, well, no big deal. I'll go into Gliscor after this counter and take it out with an Earthquake. And it turns out that he has no attacking moves, so he can't touch Gliscor until I hit him. And he's going to get all his HP back, so basically I'm screwed. So I go, oh, sh dang it, I have no move. So I just have to set up three times. I get a plus six with my Swords Dances and pray that Night Slash KOs after three Swords Dances. And I'm like, please KO, please KO, please KO. So I'm still sitting here setting up. I think I have one more Swords Dance because he's about to get his wish off. So I'm just Swords Dancing, just trying to get to plus six before. And I'm sitting here talking to him on chat like we both know it's a 
If I hit him, I win. If I kill him, I win. If I don't, I lose. And keep in mind Gliscor's ability here, Sandvale. So Counter does have a chance to miss because his evas evasiveness is one stage higher because of sand Sandvale. So here, excuse me, here it comes. Night Slash, I'm praying, please KO this thing, please. Please KO. Oh, I just have to have it KO, so it's going down, 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 down. Like, please, KO, KO. And then I go, F, M, L. But lucky for me, Sandvale, Counter Mist, game over. Great game, rate, comment, subscribe, see you next time.